welcome to our time of devotion. We are glad that you're here. You say, we? Who's with me? Who's with me? Say your name. Sophie. Sophie is with me. She is going to be our special joke teller today. But she's going to sit very still so we don't have background noise. Right, Sophie? Yeah, she's very nervous. So should I read the first joke? Yeah. Yep, I'm going to read the first joke. For my Father's Day gift. All right. Taking his son to school, the dad has his son going to drive, and he has his son go back in reverse, and uh, dad gets a wistful look in his eye, and he stops the car, and his son goes, what's wrong? And his, he said to his son, nothing, nothing's wrong, and he said, son, go ahead, put it back in reverse, I, uh, this just takes me back. All right, we're in Galatians chapter 5, Galatians chapter 5. We're going to be looking at verse number 1 today. This is Liberty Week, 4th of July. We still have rights. Although Bill of Rights, I don't know if that's the correct name. It should be like, list of things the government can't do. Government shouldn't be doing a lot of things it does. We rely too much on the government. All right. Anyway, nonetheless, let me read verse number one of chapter five. It says, Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. The last time I had a devotion video just a couple days ago, we talked about we talked about how Jesus Christ sets us free. We who are bruised, we who have lived in this world, we who have gotten beat up, and uh, kind of kicked around, dragged, scarred from this world. We are set at liberty when we put our trust in Jesus Christ. But you know, there's some people after they get saved that um, they actually go back to religion. You see, Jesus Christ is not a religion. Jesus Christ is about having a relationship. To get to heaven, you need a relationship. Religions are Religion is what we do. It's things that we do. But the relationship with Jesus Christ sets us free. And there's people that get entangled with religion. In other words, they say, look, you have to attain heaven. You have to earn heaven. Well, there's people who accept that free gift of salvation from Jesus Christ and then try to make it a work. My friend, you can't actually be good enough to get to heaven. There is no one I know that can be actually good enough to get to heaven. What you have to do is have that saving trust in Jesus Christ. We have an obligation to stand fast in the liberty Keep pointing people to Christ. Don't point out how wonderful you are and how you've merited something. Point out how Jesus Christ merits us salvation. Stand fast in that liberty. Show them that it's not a works-based religion. But show them, show them the benefits of being in liberty. Isn't it great that we don't have to, uh, we don't have to trust in their works. We can just trust in Jesus Christ. Well, what a wonderful thought that is. And on this week that we're... Um, thinking about liberty, we're thinking about all the things that are out there and we're worried about what the government's doing or we're worried about whatever it is. We're worried about the restrictions of freedom. Remember, it's not God that gives us, it's not government that gives us religion. Or <laughs> Yeah, maybe I should try that again. It's not government that gives us liberty. It is actually God that gives us liberty. Remember, we're endowed by our creator with certain unalienable rights or unalienable rights. And then among them are what? It's the, it's the ability, it's the pursuit of happiness, it's life and liberty. And, you know, we believe that men, all men are created equal. Why is that? Because of what God does and God's influence on society. So, stand fast in liberty. Trust in him. All right, we got a joke. You ready to read your joke? We're going to have to switch spots. You guys excited? All right, Sophie. Here, I'll put this down this way. Okay, the joke that I have is, want to hear a joke about construction? Never mind, I'm still working on it. That's pretty funny. She's beautiful too. Are you beautiful, Sophie? Yes. Yes. Can I get a kiss? All right, we'll see you guys later.